what I take out of the water skiing is just the freedom of being on the water and you know not having the limits of the chair to control you. The feeling that we get from uh, doing this kind of a program is beyond anything. When I water ski, the feeling I get is just the adrenaline, is the rush of cutting outside the wake, you know, being slightly out of control but yet being in control. A lot of people helped me while I was uh, growing up and I couldn't have competed without their help and <laughs> it just feels right to help. Yeah. Water skiing to me was freedom. Instantly loved it, like it was, you get to go fast again. We don't get to go fast in chairs too often anymore. To see people grasp that, saying I've got it, that, that's so important and so cool. We have probably been on this site as You Can Ski 2 since 96. Anne O'Brien Satterfield uh, came in and was renting the house and uh, we started skiing here with her. 2015, Anne passed away. 2016, one of our volunteers ended up buying the house and we restarted the program under the name Anne's Angels. The purpose of Fans Angels is to provide a water ski experience for individuals that have not previously been able to experience this type of sport or this type of uh, freedom that uh, they get out here with us. The reason I do what I do is because of Ann. She called me up one day around uh, 1998 and asked me to get involved with her program as a driver. I did the driving for a year and I pretty much just fell in love with what we were doing and how we were doing it and kept on asking for more and more and more and I learned more and more and more and as I got further into it, it just became part of my life. When Ann passed away in 2015, none of us wanted to end, but we knew if we didn't do something, it would end. So I decided to recreate the program, name it after her and move forward with it and now we're going into our third season as Ann's Angels and uh, moving forward with all of our programs and advancing all of our programs, which is a great thing for uh, us and for everybody that we work with. The feeling that we get from uh, doing this kind of a program is beyond anything. Everybody that goes out on the water has a smile. Even if they're scared to get out on the water at first, the smile comes within 15 seconds of leaving the dock. To give somebody that type of joy and feeling and to find that independence outside of a wheelchair or their crutches is just something you can't explain it. It, it is that thing that makes life worth living. Canadian Adaptive Water Ski Program is uh, under the umbrella of Water Ski Waveboard Canada. There's five different disciplines and we're uh, very pleased to be involved with that group. Sport Canada provides the funding directly to our discipline through Water Ski Waveboard Canada. And we have a ski ability beginner or introduction to the sport, which goes up to and including getting the skiers to independence, meaning that they can manage their own equipment, manage their own starts in the water, manage their own skiing and then we have a high performance side of the program which is taking people to a level of building their skills and uh, learning to compete and aspiring to the national team program. People that have a disability that have the ambition to try water skiing, when we get people who take that step and say okay look I'm going to take a risk that these guys know what they're doing and they get here and put everything into it and it's so much more than just being a great athlete. They got a new thing that they can do to be independent and that to me, to see people grasp that, saying I've got it, that, that's so important and so cool. I was injured in 2008, work injury, I was a carpenter in a commercial building for a lumber company. Had a freak storm come through, 
was running out of the building when the building collapsed the way I ran out and uh, the wall fell on my back, crushing my spine from T11 down. I tried water skiing three years ago. Instantly loved it, like it was, get to go fast again. We don't get to go fast in chairs too often anymore, so it's really hard to find this equipment anywhere really and then you come down to this spot where we have the, the ideal weather and all the equipment here for us to try. They've been doing it so much longer down here and they, they know what they're doing. And so it's great to, to have that experience and, and just meeting everybody, like other people that are all learning to ski and the coaches and all the help, side skiers. It's, it's been amazing down here. I broke my neck at the C6-7 level um, at the age of 18, so I've been in a chair for 26 years now. I actually made contact with Anne's Angels, um, the organization that we're currently skiing with, about five years ago. Bumped into Dave about three years ago at uh, Anne, who used to run the program at her uh, memorial. The first time I tried uh, water skiing was an awesome experience. I had done some water skiing before I got injured, but I wasn't really great at it. So this was an opportunity for me to give it another shot, and uh, I had an awesome experience. What I take out of the water skiing is just the freedom of being on the water and you know, not having the limits of the chair to control you. So just basically being free on the water. Basically, I'm putting my hands in an X position and using my wrists as strength because I don't have the, the finger dexterity or the hand dexterity in order to hold the rope like a, a paraplegic or an able-bodied person would. Dave as a coach is, has been very um, valuable. Um, obviously, he knows a lot about uh, dis skiing in general and disabled skiing, so he's got a lot of valuable tips to give. Hopefully, I can take all those tips that he's provided and uh, put them all together and like I said, eventually compete for Team Canada someday. Our oldest two sons were both in the skiing program, but are both very different from each other. Chance was born able-bodied, Sheridan was born with spina bifida, which means he was born and his spinal cord was exposed right at the early part of pregnancy, which then the amniotic fluid deteriorates it. Chance spent 21 years snowboarding and skiing and wakeboarding and doing all those fun things. Then Chance had an accident, and then last summer both boys decided uh, that they wanted to go back out. There was a have-a-go day and they, they went back out and just had a great time. This opportunity came up for them and they both said, yes, we want to go, and it's been fabulous. They've never skied so much in their life or learned so much, so. They have gotten a new zest for life. First time I tried water skiing would have been probably a couple years ago. Back in Canada, we have much colder water than here, so quite cold, but it was fun, so I just kept on doing it. Water skating to me was freedom. Chance to get out and try something new that I, and I, I just liked it so much that I kept going and eventually came here. Injury happened in a snowmobile accident about 8 p.m. on February 24th, 2006, I believe. Went over a 30-foot drop and landed on ice. Uh, burst, burst fracture L1 area. I walk with the leg brace. My left side is quite a bit weaker than my right. If I had to put a number on it, it would be 90%. My, my left side would be probably 50%. I, I see what my brother's doing, and he's, uh, he's had a way uh, tougher road in life than I have and he's getting out there and I can push him a little bit and I know the odd time he does need a little a little push so loves it yeah. always a smile on his face it's it's great to have him down here it's a little family vacation almost minus three others <laughs> I played a lot of sports growing up and I, I can't play them I can get on the water and do what other people are doing too and from what I've seen down here people are very supportive of adaptive water skiing so it's not it's not like we're outsiders, it seems like. They want us out there as, as much as anyone. For the soul, it's very, it's something I th think I needed. 
giving me a sense of accomplishment. It's, uh, this is something I can do and it's very enjoyable. I grew up water skiing. First started competing when I was 12 years old and I competed till I was about 25. A lot of people helped me while I was uh, growing up and I couldn't have competed without their help and <laughs> it just feels right to help. Yeah, it's been amazing. This isn't what I expected. I felt like we were going to be in the water a lot. Staying at kind of a beginner stage for most of the camp and to have water skiers that have improved so much in you know a four or five day period to a point where they are really close to having the ability to compete, it's exciting. It allows me to see the process from start to finish and I haven't had that opportunity before. Everybody has improved so much and the fact that they have gone from a skier who couldn't ski on their own to a skier who can go back to their cottage and, and go for a ski. Like even if that's all that happens in here, it's, it's worth it, right? Because you've given them the freedom to, to water ski. Adaptive skiers have told me in the past that having the ability to water ski has brought the fun back to their life. And um, not all of them were water skiers before, but they were some kind of an extreme sport uh, junkie of some kind. And water skiing gives them that back, gives them the speed back in their life and gives them the, the challenge and the ability to improve at something, right? Because we all want to get better at things we do. And so this, this gives them that, that, uh, that opportunity to improve and feel good about themselves and, uh, and, and just to have fun too. Sheridan went out in a hurricane today, which it was nice on the dock when he started. First time on a trick ski. As soon as it pulled away and he was out there with the two boat drivers and no side skier or anything, we got a wind and a hurricane. <laughs> where's Sheridan? Okay, where's Sheridan? He's out there somewhere. <laughs> Came in a few times. The boat driver did post to shore and he did not let go and come home. I don't know if he didn't see the dock or what was going on. But he kept smiling by the time he came home and he finally did let go, the sun was back out. But it was interesting and he was soaked. Hit him! Hit him! Oh! Ah, that was a big deal! <laughs> <laughs> so Sheridan, how come you didn't let go? Because I couldn't see where the hell I was going. <laughs>